<laughs> That's so good! <laughs> the late night. Get the theater slightly early and Sam's already there waiting, dressed to, to, to the nines. You! You smile wildly as you join hands and take your seats in the private box. You suddenly couldn't use to it. Yeah. The tickets arrived on your mat on Monday with a typed thank you from Chris. Chris, my boy! You'll get your passport back soon enough, apparently. The show isn't to your usual taste. A pretentious opera in a language you know for a fact that Chris doesn't speak either. Still, the complimentary drinks should go smooth. <laughs> yeah! Go down smooth, sorry, yeah. Mm. Well, when the show finally ends, how many bows do the people need? <laughs> eh? I was no part, to be honest, a week ago. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It was no part of the theater. Yeah. But still, it was pretty cool. Okay, back to the story, maybe. You stand you stand in line to get your coat and Sam has in your... Da -da -da -da. Boring stuff, yeah, she holds my hand, uh, arm. Uh, the couple in front of you are talking about the re relocation of people who could not pay the new tax bill. Oh yeah, it sounds awful. Sam smiles gratefully at you as you both think of Chris. Safe and sound. When you get home, you still laugh as Sam heads upstairs to shower before bed. You notice your 14 years old son isn't home and there is a note on the kitchen table and his almost illegible scroll. Crow? Like scribbles or something? It says he's at the fr at friend's house. Uh, it's a school night, so you go over there and march him down home. You trust? Do we trust him? You know what? Let's give uh, let's give him a little bit of trust. Yeah. It's one night. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's one night. Oh, are you okay there? My cat just jumped on some stuff. Hey, okay, that's good. He got to start talking responsibility for his own decisions sometime. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I would not say that. That sounds really bad. Oh. No! Oh, your family answering machine crackles into life. Who could be coming while you're around this? Oh. Good afternoon. This is a message for the Winston family. It's Miss Smith calling regards your son Charles. Oh. oh no. I'm sure there is a perfectly res reasonable explanation for it, but he wasn't in school today and we hadn't heard from you that he would be absent. I would like to remind you we do require all absence to be authorized in advance or it explain Oh no you fucking wee idiot For patterns to rank first in the morning please say it doesn't happen again thank you goodbye <sighs> oh, what the how many days I was waiting Did my kid die? Uh, what about my kid? You're living through the pile of accumulated posts. Each new bill pulls on you guts like a le lead weight until a flash of blue makes you pause. What? Recognizing the teal advance logo on the envelope, you tear it open. Dear Winston's residence, this is a second reminder letting go. Oh, yeah. Over the redemption scheme. Please submit your passport to you near the government office as soon as possible. You cannot... Oh, no, no. You know there will, there will be consequences, but that doesn't make it any easier. Yeah. We work, yeah, we work as a team and we are rewarded as a team. Yeah, for sure I can be rewarded. But Chris is safe, that's the most important thing, because I fucking know Chris, for sure, yeah. Great. I'm fucked because I decided to help somebody else. A tight Christmas, that's even better. Oh no. 
You can't help but crack a smile as you look around the table. The snow has settled on the glass outside. The kids are pulling a cracker well while your elderly mother tries to keep her eyes open. You did always have a soft spot for Christmas. No, I did not. I always dislike Christmas because of that whole thing that no family being. Oh yeah, we love each other. But the day before you just yell at the because oh, we need to be done. Yes, to be done. Why not Maybe I have some problems. Uh, let's go, just yeah. Man. You sit at the head of the table now, your dad's place. So where is my dad? I asked him on his place. Is he dead, mommy? Mommy. Why am I sitting in that small room on my own? It's really tiny. Across from you is Chris's empty seat. Oh yeah. So Chris is my family? Did I miss something? Maybe he is, no, oh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Across from you is Chris empty seat, probably on a tropical beach somewhere you think. It's really weird it's written. Maybe that's why I have a problem with reading those things. You catch some day who breaks into a smile. Clearly thinking the same thing. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> that we rascal boy. Yeah, he was my boy, he just left me alone. He just took the cash and went. Even without Chris, the food has had to be stretched a little thinner this year, but no one seems to notice. Christmas really can be a wonderful time of the year. No, it's one of the worst. I like Halloween, yeah, Halloween's great. I love Halloween. It's so cool, like getting dressed up and having to have angry parties. But they didn't have any parties for, for some time. Oh. You look around the you look around the room at your family. <laughs> Are you having a nice Christmas, Grandma? <laughs> your mother smiles broadly at you, just like she used to. Yes, Pat, it's absolutely lovely. Sam softly corrects her. That's Alex, Cassandra. Alex, Pat's not with us anymore. Oh yes, yes, of course. She mutters. And Im immediately she's back to the frail shadow of her former self. Sam smiles kindly and squeezes your hand under the table. So, is Pat the dad? Pat the dad, yeah! Maybe. You look around at your family. I'm gonna be silent, I don't wanna make a toast. Your mother, in an increasingly rare moment of clarity, looks towards the empty seat before speaking. Sam, is Charlie not coming? You wink as you pass Charlie a meager, mere, uh, a portion of potatoes. What's that word? Meagre? Magger? I don't know how to. English is my second language, it's not that easy for me to talk. Sam answers gently, yeah. Chris has had to go away, Cassandra, but everything is okay. Thanks to Alex. Your son Charlie looks to the empty seat adds, I miss Chris and have Chris's voice. <laughs> I'm Charlie but I'm Chris at the same time. <laughs> Frowning you, Sprouse put a hand on his shoulder. Me too, sweetie. We all do. <clears throat> you hope Chris will be home next year. Yeah, for Christmas party. Yeah, get some drinks going. <laughs> You're currently looking at the family, uh, oh yeah, I need to make a toast anyway, that's crazy. Merry Christmas everyone, I'm glad you are here, yay. Well, most of us. Charlie, uh, Chris, my boy is not here and that's the only person I would like to see today, but I have all of you with me. So yeah, I mean, Merry Christmas everyone, yay. There's a murmur of cheers and much clinging of glasses. Your daughter Susie sees the opportunity to corner you. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna be bad probably. Okay, let's go with that. You know who- <clears throat> Fuck, I can't get it. I read the crazy voice. You know how much you love me, daddy. <sighs> yeah, you ask the question, I think. Hey, bro. I'm not going to like it, am I? You joke. 
Yeah, you know me and my friends are planning to go traveling this year, Daddy. Susie begins innocently. Well, I was hoping you help me with the money. Yeah, I love just. I know it. I'm a mind reader. I'm a psychic type. You chuckle at your night. <laughs> okay, she's 19. <laughs> maybe I'm gonna give her the same voice as to my wife. Yeah, because. Or maybe my daughter is just 19 years old and she's talk like a wee kid. Yeah. You wish you could say yes without worrying, but now that your mother had to move in. The f uh, my mother is living with me now! Fudge! Uh, just how much are we talking about, yeah? Ah, uh, a few hundred. She mumbles as she put. Uh, <sighs> she mumbles as she puts the straight pee around the place. Uh, it takes a great effort for you to not spill your mullet wine, mullet wine, wine across the table onto your elderly mother. I know it's a lot, darling. Sounds interjects, but trains are expensive. This is a great opportunity for her, and I did already say she could go. Okay. Let's get rid of all the kids. Yeah. Susie's grin stretched from ear to ear. You mean it? Oh, that's great. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I don't know. I, the voice almost cracked over here. Like, ah, but I cannot crack it. Like, I cannot go high. Uh, you must serve a sample of paper. Hat on your head and Charlie. What? What? Why the fuck we have a paper hat? And why we have like those <laughs> things here? It's not a fucking party. It's a. Well, it is a party, but it's a Christmas party. Okay, Sam puts a paper hat on your head and Charlie takes picture. And Charlie takes. Pi oh, and Charlie takes not picture. Takes please. Pleasure in reading everyone's good awful cracker jokes. The room is filled with voices and laughter. Oh yay. Fun time. Looking around at your grinning family, your mother whispers Your father will be so pleased. You dab your eye with your with your napkin. You feel very lucky, yeah, fucking lucky as hell. You feel so lucky, yay. And joy and luck and everything. Do I even work now? It's like it didn't, eh. long weekend. <laughs> Selling a kidney, yeah, that's a good status to have. Yeah. Why does the zipper on the damn case never close? It's your anniversary. Every you and Sam go away for a week, usually camping. You're not made of money. Camping, it's pretty nice. I would like to go camping. You have been looking forward to it for ages. Finally, getting some time alone together. Or you can't forget about those noisy noise of life. No kids. That's the most important. No kids. No work. That's also pretty big. But this one is the big. Those kids. Just a bit of romance and some peace and quiet. The zipper finally gives up the bottle and you drag the bulking suitcase down the stairs. The answering machine is blinking. Oh no no. That sounds bad. Good evening, Alex. This is Mr. Postman. I'm calling to inform you that you will be required to work this weekend. Your heart sinks. Some information has been to light concerning the rising tensions between our nation and foreign powers. And the National Night News team will be working around the clock to ensure we break the story first. Needless to say, I'll be expecting your attendance tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. Have a, ple have a pleasant evening, Alex. I don't give a fuck about that. What are you going to tell Sam? I'm just gonna tell her, like, we're not, we're going anyway, fuck it. Kissing you, they grab the, <clears throat> kissing you, they grab the key, what? Why they? Are they already coming with me? I just only want to go with Sam. Kissing you, they grab the car key from the dish and start to load your bags into the bag. Ignore the, ignore the message you need this weekend. 
Exactly. But what the blood? Fuck it. Message deleted. <laughs> what was that? Come on, voice from behind you. <laughs> Unified. There is no one. Nothing important. Your player, as you put on your coat, adrenaline cruising through your body. Grabbing some around the waist, you practically slam the front door. You just slam the front door. You don't need to say you practically. So you slam the door, but not really. You might as well enjoy your time off. And yeah, yeah. Monday, it's Monday, yeah. And unwelcome return. When you get to <clears throat> when you get to work Monday morning, you get some sour looks from your exhausted colleagues. A note sits waiting for you. The immaculate script is blood red. I'm very disappointed, Winston. Was it worth it? Yeah, for sure. I think you're far. Oh my. Oh, 98. A permission slip. His son Charlie hovers at your elbow as you read. Do you find yourself striving to achieve? Are you an active member of the team? Do you like repeating the benefits of cooperation? Join the advance, go get theirs today. Forward to get. What's that? That doesn't sound like the yoke cloud he told you. He didn't tell me nothing! Charlie grabs the flyer from your hand and thrusts uh, a trust form for into your hand. So, I can walk there straight from school and my sister can drop us home after. So, would you... So, you wouldn't have to do anything. You signed the permission slip for your son to join that van. Well, fuck him. Let him go, just... Your son is thrilled. It's heartwarming to see his so passionate about becoming an active part of the community. This can only be a good thing. Don't say those things! Okay, free ticket. Some guys will give you gave them to me. <coughs> oh, some okay. Some guy at work gave them to me. They can't go. Some stands in front of you brandishing two tickets. Brandishing maybe. This is the title in bold letters. Alan James uh, No 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 Alan James, no, no, no. Uh, I'm really unsure. What do you think? Shall we go? No. <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry, you say. But I can't see through any of his crap. Some burst into laughter. Thank God. <laughs> I was sorry you, you were going to say yes. <laughs> This is to stay in and eat beats. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of evening. I love it. Pizza. Yeah, Alan James, it's not worth my time at all. Partnership? Ah, uh, long day at work. You came home to find the post sorted into piles as some takes to doing recent. Most of it is the usual rubbish, but the letter with the ins increasingly familiar advanced logo and urgent respond immediately place it on the front of it oh no, no, no. I don't like that yeah there was some residence the letter is <coughs> this letter is to inform you that the advanced government has taken another step forward in our fight to equality by nationalizing the large privacy corporations and redistributing their resources among the citizens of this great country. The Partnership Bonds program ensured that wealth created by the people is delivered to people. Yeah, I don't, yeah, you don't remember this being in the manifesto. Every household will become a partner in one of three Curfew selected institutions choose by advance for considering consistent high performance and financial security and financial security. Please note all returns are based on public opinion and cannot be guaranteed. Please select on the following A of the beholder in 
whether it's cause we uh, from crazy crazy Neil crazy Neil what about that pleasure corp our business you please pleasure from sports to travel uh, no, no, no. fuck it crazy Neil this is another, another letter already like oh yeah thank you <laughs> is there somebody just waiting on my doorstep or something thank you for making selection please return this oh, okay <laughs> this is in the same form yeah I'm stupid Present this using the envelope provided. You will re receive a report from your partnership in three to six working mo months. Yeah, okay. Blah blah blah. Yeah, the future is a uh, partnership. Blah blah blah. Boring stuff. Ooh 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 ooh. ooh. That's a lot of days. A hundred fifty-three. Oh, now I'm able to play the game. It's not only. Reading simulator. I'm button read. Oh. You know, guys. Maybe let's do bad now. All right. I don't know. We're gonna see. What are you gonna say? Oh. Fuck it. Have a great show. Pip. My God, that Take your prostate. That's a good one, I think. Oh. Sorry. No. Sorry, are you saying he chose his imaginary friend in the sky? Maybe you. Mm. Chris and you. Ten seconds, everybody. Like Fuck that. Did your personality actually slip out? Oh, no, you know what? Five, four, three. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter mm. Clement, I'll be asking what this mysterious symbol might mean. After three months of record-breaking approval ratings, could this be the daring first move of a silent resistance movement? It's a feast. And what would that mean as we yeah. go into the future? We I shall overcome. Know. Trapped in Dante's taint for more than a month now, doctors Ingrid Svorsborg and Horgensbord and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options. They're gonna go with that one. Two of the finest minds in the I hope it's gonna be a good one. Together, hopes are still high for the eventual return of the team to dry land. Without enough engineers to successfully Maybe. their craft, the team seem likely to attempt to farm the cavern's ecosystem while they wait for rescue from <laughs> above ground. <laughs> I think I'll stick to risotto, Jeremy. <laughs> no, not this Sharing one. their opinions, the formerly rich are fighting back with a naked protest. Our very own Robin Short was on hand earlier today when this new protest... What the fuck? Okay, we're going with the A. It might seem I didn't know I just happen. choose A, so do we? This formerly overprivileged section of our society is not adjusting well to the new future. It's often too easy to forget that not every citizen is thriving under advance. Yeah. Table for two. Johnny Hamsley and Tiffany Lamour were spotted having <laughs> That's results. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they want to show that. They've been on a roller coaster since they started dating late last year. And this image I is sure so. to place them firmly back in the tabloids. Yeah. Could we be on the verge of the biggest celebrity wedding since professional wrestler Randy but they really want fridge married his long What was this that nickname? Is this one celebrated role model <laughs> about to become the bad boy of sport? And onwards and upwards. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind Oh yes, yeah, Snuggle Hug! CEO Sophia Remington today announced a brand new product. Oh, sorry for the of the camera. Buzzing with interest. This groundbreaking product came as quite a shock mm. as was revealed earlier today. Though its critics are skeptical, go the, the young first one. CEO can fulfill her promises. <laughs> Described as a breakthrough far ahead of its time, the male contraceptive pill is heralding a sexual revolution. Its fans are celebrating the fact that men can... Oh, so it's going to be a thing that? Check your prostate, maybe? But others have expressed concerns over its safety and... Responsibility. With that exclusive Prime Ministerial interview coming up later, 
and our very own Patrick Bannon coming to you live from the first six five four three two one Oh. Yeah, two of each. Oh my god! <laughs> I forget this is like the odd. First tonight. <laughs> by Mr. Snugglehugs, we have an exclusive interview with one of the victims. Poor seven-year-old Timmy Tadlock. Like so many of them, Timmy Tadlock! Bloodbath has spent the last Blood three months what? undergoing a series of reconstructive facial surgeries. Uh -oh. Last week, joyfully, he spoke for the first time since the tragedy. Tonight, <laughs> What tragedy? Before we go to the interview, however, this station would like to issue a full and frank apology for any part we may have... And Martin! Where? We should never Fuck have you go. the Snugglehugs. <laughs> that our publicity, the sheer skirt of this tragedy, now upwards of 8,000 casualties... It's just skipping all the time by mistake to On those guys. Of the nightly news team, we're sorry. In future, we will do better. Now it's over no, I'm not sorry. I'll put it in more. Like, Thank no. You, Megan. I'll put I'm it once more if I could. That ad for that... <laughs> Thanks we for spending boy. time with us today. Yes, well, you're very lucky we're spending any time with you at all. After what you lot did. Be nice. I mean, whose idea was this anyway? Yeah, it's, all, it's all right. Was it your fault? You're the fucking stupid As father that bought the fucking toy for the kid. So fuck here. off. Don't say like, oh, oh yes, TV fault. I'm going to speak to Timmy now. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Timmy. Can you see me? Mummy? Who's that lady? It's a lady from television, Timothy. She's going to ask you a few questions. And you be careful now. It upsets them to remember. Mm -hmm. What's going on Don't over there? Don't worry, Mr. Tadlock. I wasn't the youngest ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Inquirer for no reason. So, Timmy, can you tell us what happened to you? You had just unwrapped Mr. Snugglehugs, hadn't you? Was he under the tree? Yes. I could smell him already. Uh -huh. Smell like love. Ah, uh, yes. What oh, does fucking uh, love smell, you so wee idiot? I was so excited. I ran up to my room and gave him a big hug. Smell like love. He was so soft and warm, like our cat, before he got in the way of mm. Penny's Porsche. Bloody cat had a death wish. And what did Mr. Snugglehug say to you? He blinked his real action eyes and said, You're my very best friend. Action eyes. But I sure wish Mrs. Snugglehug was here, and she can't be for just $89.99. And then. Okay. And then it's the general error. Oh yeah, the general order of 41 is always a problem. And then he exploded. <laughs> oh, look, I asked you nicely. And am I right in saying Are you that one of his stupid or what? eyes is now permanently embedded in your cheek? Yes. <laughs> when I took him in at night, it glows through bandages. What? I know it's under there, staring at me. Yeah, some of the other children have started calling him Timmy Three Eyes. And then with his glasses, that's five. It's too many eyes, Robin. And what's the last thing you remember before the darkness overtook you? He looked at me with his one eye and laughed. <laughs> <My happy birth. laughs> it sounds very traumatic. I'm awful. You have nightmares. All right, that's quite you, enough of Timmy? you two Timmy? coming in here with your camera, but I make a buck out of our suffering. I won't have it. <laughs> Mr. Are you Tadlock, stupid? A more questions. <laughs> Timmy, They're just talking. Do you think you will ever be what we can call no, no, you normal had your questions. again? And now look. Oh, you've made him cry with all three of his eyes. It's you. Because you you're stupid. Will you ever really love you again? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you jump on the kid, you idiot? Does she have like superpowers or something? You just went like, boo! <laughs> Just jump with that kid, idiot. Thank you, Robin, harrowing stuff. Now you have, like, you know, four eyes both, like, together. I love to do this. Oh, my, it's going down here. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, can we just get a close-up on camera three here? So if we take a look... 
at this National Nightly News mug, you should see mm -hmm. the mark just on the base of it there. In the wake of the scandal, the government were praised for their swift response in bringing in this set of stringent checks and new products. It certainly is good to know that someone's watching out for our families. When we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sports Board Finals. Stick around, you won't want to miss it. We'll be back after these messages. Messages! Oh, sorry. Are you worried about being a bird? Oh no, this is boring one. Hmm. Wait, it's not in. Yes, he is. Watch your back, Jeremy. The women are coming. I'm more worried about this water to on my head. Alex, no. Over. We're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final by waving their fleshy bits about. Huh? Try make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's sake. No one wants to see fannies on the nose. <laughs> <He's not out>. <laughs> what? <laughs> Naked protesters! Yeah, let's go! The TV show with the naked boys. Yes, yes. Eat. What would we all deserve at the end of a life well lived? That's boring. I want to put that one on. Our expert legal team will help you make all those mm. difficult arrangements. Well, yeah. says, after yes, I understand that, but I always say welcome back. back. I think we should just keep it as it is. Well, of course you do. I've got one hat line. It's not supposed <laughs> to mean I didn't write it, Jeremy. That's all right, fine. Jenny, there's something wrong with the auto cue. Ten seconds. Oh, I just felt a drip again. Have they not fixed this? You want to see us fry? It's good for the ratings. Five, four, <laughs> yeah. three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime Ministers about their exciting new healthcare facilities, mm -hmm. transition centres. Nice to see they care. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Jeremy. But first, he's so we're happy. Going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's gripping the nation, Sports Board. Patrick? What? That's right, Megan. You join me live here for the final, the first annual Sports Board Championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Eddie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players today. Stryker has got an okay. 7 a danger rating of K, and a 12-month driving ban. Stryker's known for his signature move for the year, Anki mm -hmm. Hamster. And facing oh. her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending. It's Mr. Wingspan himself, Tommy. What are they doing? Now, Harris. He just... He's on the ref now. <laughs> ceremony is taking part. It's a laughing ceremony! Still going on. Okay. Striker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round earlier on by some margin. D robe. D robe. Uh, perhaps the brawn and not the brain. Stupid. Why does she have like such a dirty T-shirt? Eddie Striker. Okay. Nice song there for Striker. She's determined not to let the nerve show her. Uh, Wait. She just throw it like nothing. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Wait. Let's see. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Okay. Not a bad shot. Yeah, he did it. Uh, from Harris. What? Huh? Back to striker. The shot's number three. All right. Uh, okay. She's gone to sort of throw you under her legs. Uh, not she bad, missed. Not okay. Go the way. To Harris. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted Let's out. Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to get on those legs like, because I wonder uh, if he even. Ooh, that's a fall. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. You're gonna lose some points on that. Oh no, and Harris is not gonna be happy with that. So really not a there for Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope that round two trigger Oh no. But first of course, after yeah, he, the ref section, it's he put it in, yes. Now we have that's the word that could happen, that's port. That was really bad. Okay, there's something the and okay. Of now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Round two now with Harris. Okay, he seems to have some sort of streak on the pitch. I can't show them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I would like to see them when they were recorded. 
round two now, uh, and Harry's absolutely determined to close that massive gap. She should, I think, yeah. Or no, I don't know. Oh, striker, okay. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Harris. Ooh. Oh, that's a power move. Yeah, you can see on her face that she's intimidated and, that, and everything is like, no, it's... What? Spotted something in a uh, Harris's neck or head. Oh, oh, and Harris is having an absolute okay. shocker. What a miserable ah. start there in for Tommy in Harris. In uh, but he is a late bloomer, of course, boys. And after all, it is a game of two halves. What? Four rounds and seven sub -goals. But now, of course, it's time for the half time show. What about giving some spit? Yeah, yeah, that was a fall. I seen that as well. <clears throat> of course, yeah. Nice piece of music here to start the half time show. <laughs> Okay, another post process <laughs> over to the court here. We're going to apologize for that. Um, <laughs> That's so good! He's running around here with his genitals uh, on display for all. Oh, no, no. Uh, and they're ruining all the shaping up to be quite the dance. Now he's stuffed himself in uh, a <laughs> <laughs> uh, And the bucket's been knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll be oh, taken no. down. Um, <laughs> Sorry, the wrong camera. Oh, no. No! <laughs> really, if you ask me, not Sunday morning television. Uh, and, uh, out of I love it. Uh, take it away, never to be seen again. By the post, by the post. <laughs> we cannot be in the final post. Okay. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. That's a better power uh, pose. Yeah, she's just, just standing like... Uh, uh, but side, him. That's a pure class. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, striker there, not a she great start. throw um, it I think, after somewhere. Okay. She's Back stressing because of his power pose. Yeah. Tommy Harris. And. Oh, he throws like extra points, like the we dribble on his hands. Back to striker. Okay, striker. Yeah. Oh my god! He's deflecting! Oh my god! Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris yeah. Possession now. Uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel in his last four battles. So, um, Come on. Here we go. Come on, you can do that, my boy. And. Not bad, they threw it quite far away from the Yeah. That was an attack. A solid attack on her. Perhaps a little contact caution from the referee. Good thing, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. Yeah. I think he's biased towards her. And she's let the nerves get to her. What the hell was that? You hate to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Hurry. What the? F no, 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 no. <laughs> They're both down naked. Yoo-hoo. Oops. That's so good. Look at the sensor. He's <laughs> just taking him out. Uh, <laughs> it's an absolute bloody. Okay, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of oh. course, it's a Tuesday. The final round is a mime round. Who could believe it? Yeah, yeah, I forget about the last round. A mime round, yeah. Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh -huh. uh, really Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Really high level play here from two absolute juggernauts of the sport. You juggernauts. Okay. Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. 
Uh -huh. And she's a juggling okay. from her hand. Yeah, we juggle, yeah. yeah, yeah. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like it, as if it was an egg, and now she's um and she's spat it out, she did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there, quite late on. Spin, uh, from spin. striker. But she's yeah, in yeah. it to win it. On it, like a car bonnet. Okay, let's go. You can do that, you can uh, still win. Tip, having a bit of beef. Come on. And he's peeling it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting Okay, banana one. peel it, that's also, a good good one, yeah, yeah. Going on today with Hux. Uh huh. And he's trying to have the banana with the ball. What a oh. move there from Harris. Unfortunately, that is the end. What a oh, fuck. There we go, Jeremy. That is over. How can he look his eight year old son in the face tonight? What a lump. Uh, we just have to wait for him oh. now to announce it to make sure it is all official. Ooh. Okay. Contestants in, please. Yeah. You're not prepared for that bottle, my boy. And the winner of the first annual Come on. sports board championship <coughs> is. Everyone. Everyone, uh, including me as my 15th winner as well. Where's the championship? Uh, I'm a winner as well. Tonight with my wife and children. Yeah. Uh, victory for me. Uh, here come the on-site security to collect their medals. Uh, they're sixth and seventh respectively. Um, and thanks again for watching the uh, sports ball championships. Uh, what more is there to say? I'm Patrick Bannon. Um, yeah, we all the winners. I won something in my life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them. I'll have you know. I certainly can bet against you. And when we come back, I'll be talking live with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury okay. and Peter Clement, who apparently have a big announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. One minute back. Fucking microphone shot me. What? Fucking microphone what? just shot me. Oh, I'm Tommy the Fingernail Harris, sporting legend. Harris! Four world championships, two cars, a bidet, and an enlarged prostate. <coughs> okay. Shut up! Okay. Matey move. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bye bye, boys, man. Was she the next wife? So, what caused this big old prostate in the bum? Well, sorry, <laughs> me and the doctors, we don't know. But I can tell you, as you get older, your body changes. And that's okay. <laughs> if you're worried about your swollen bum sack, book an appointment, for God's sake. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Procedure is easy, it's quick, and it's not gay. I'm Tommy Fingernail Harris. Rectums. Let's see the numbers you know. Five, four, three. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Parrott. Welcome to the National Museum. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. We don't believe much in titles. It doesn't seem very advanced. We're delighted okay. to be here. Well, firstly, I should ask how you feel about the graffiti that's been springing up across the capital. Should we be worried? No, 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 you definitely shouldn't be worried. But not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy. <laughs> but yes, it does. You're the drunken wa drunk at the one from the previous. You know, ninjas. I think. As my old <coughs> man used to say, there are some croissants who just don't know how to be. We're working hard to reach these people. Find out what they're angry. Pissants. <laughs> you are pissing a little bit. Is always open. Oh, but we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative arts projects. Which we no doubt will afford. And we want okay. to talk to the nation about something far more exciting. Yes, your office brief does that you have an announcement to make, but they were being surprisingly secretive about it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. 
okay, it's not usually how it works. But <laughs> what scares you? I mean, really scares you. He really scares me. Spiders. She's talking about you. We're right. all afraid of our deaths. It's part of being human. Okay. Sorry, are you saying that the vaults have cured death? <laughs> that would be a vault winner. Yep, that was definitely a death there. But while we may not have cured death, we hope we found a way It's only a draw, don't be a wee bitch. You can drink like crazy on TV and now you just... On about TV. Like, you know, about a wee drop on your head. We grind up. We collapsed that morning. So we go over to say our goodbyes. And I went in to see him and we were frail. I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before and he'd been okay. his fiddle. And he said to me, Peter, he said, it's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I know. Is that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later we were back home. He lived with us for nine miserable years after that. We had to be fed with That's a rubber spoon. We had a commode. So we'd just take a shit right there in the lounge while we were watching football. You couldn't even wait till half time. That sounds oh, bad. It, it oh, yeah, well, that's the worst part. Awful for us. And this is the half time of the game. It were awful for You're a wanker, you know that? I could see it was destroying me, man, watching him slowly fade away. And he would beg her to turn off his breathing at equipment at night. Would she? Mm -hmm. she would. And she didn't want to lose the children as well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Peter's did. And now no family will have to. Okay. The health service is today opening the first of 300 new transition centres. Uh. The transition centres will handle everything for your last days. The legal, financial, medical and emotional costs are all catered for and paid for by the government. So even the mm. poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when they choose. And that choice is important. This is you look like you your smokes happen before the show. People who feel they run their course, don't want to burden themselves <coughs> and their families with a slow, long, humiliating decline. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry, my apologies. All. Are, are you not worried that this new <laughs> system might be open to abuse? What the fuck? Well, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've got a sack to get. Can I get a little bit of help here, please? <laughs> that the older generation might feel somewhat. <laughs> 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 no, this bastard's too long. Sorry, the, the, the older generation might feel somewhat coerced. <laughs> coerced into spending their <clears> days <throat> eating holy food and drinking fine wine and luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable of oh, with a rugged twat. Prime Minister, please watch your language. Oh. oh. How did you do that, you idiot? Remove the everything they need to uh, really do move at a breathless pace. It's hard to believe you've yet to be in I think community. he doesn't have a couple of brain cells. We're only getting started. What do you talking about even? Thank you so much for being here. <coughs> right, yes, um that's all we have time for tonight. Uh thank you must go out to our guests. Um congratulations to all the winners of the sports board final. Hey yeah. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. At the same time, my name is Jeremy. Dyson. Bye bye. If you can, I love these one up. What? And we're out. Whoa! Good job, everybody. So good, just. I don't suppose there's any way this could be. Oh, that's my. That's so my nephew. That's so I'm transitioned and otherwise not the lead. What? Okay. Uh huh. That's pretty good. I receive a small bonus and my wealth is creeping death. Yeah. 
That's really good, yeah. Wait. So I have, I have the shirt, so if I'm gonna be pushing out of Neil, that would gonna maybe mean that I'm gonna get some extra cash? 